I treat a number of um, basically GI tract cancers. Uh, my interest is pancreas cancer and also hepatobiliary. Hepatobiliary cancer covers uh, hepatocellular carcinoma, cholangial carcinoma, which is bile duct cancer, and gallbladder cancer. Uh, these uh, diseases are um, pretty rare, but, um, but they're also very aggressive. And I think that the challenge in treating these diseases is A, to get an early diagnosis. Outside of that, the next best way to give patients the maximum benefit would be to give the maximal care your maximal multimodality treatment. And with these cancers, the treatment can be kind of complex. They could include a combination of chemotherapy, chemoradiation, and surgery. Um, and so really the challenge is to A, how do we diagnose these cancers early, and B, once you have, what's the, you know, what's the most optimal sequence so that patients get the most benefit? One of the reasons is once they start developing symptoms, then their disease is pretty advanced. And A, they're um, either unresectable or not candidates for surgery because it's progressed so much, or um, it's so advanced that despite chemotherapy or chemoradiation and surgery, the risk of coming back is very high. And so um, because they're so rare, there's no means of screening for patients who are high at risk. And, like I said, because a lot of times they tend to not have many symptoms until the disease has, you know, has progressed pretty far. You know, you have to seek a provider early to kind of figure out what the issue is. Cancer is a very complex problem to treat. It's not like a hernia where you can find a good surgeon and um, the majority of good general surgeons would be able to do a good job. Um, fixing the hernia. With uh, cancer care, it's very complex. It requires a team approach. And so you have to go to a place where the team is present and you know the team has experience taking care of patients. Um, and that's really the important thing because it's not only the treatment options, but the sequence of option, what treatment goes first, what treatment goes next, that's all very important. And so that's really what I want to stress. You have to be able to, you have to seek care in a place that has this team available.